Jeff Hardy. Moment of truth has arrived. No longer the chance for Jeff Hardy to make excuses about a lack of preparation time. And I'll be the first to admit that he does have a gripe when it comes to that. The network threw him a curve March the 3rd. Sting took advantage of it. But now, Jeff Hardy, this is your chance. You've had a chance to prepare for Sting. Let's find out who the best man is. I think that is a big deal. I mean, that, that Jeff Hardy did not have that, that ample time to prepare and did not know who his opponent was. I don't think he, no, Mike, just my opinion, I don't think he could throw it away like that. I think that's a huge thing, hence why. Jeff Hardy, sure, he's not a big fan favorite anymore. We all know that. People don't think the guy, but he lost his title because he had no clue who his opponent was going to be. So now, as you said, the opportunity's here. Can Hardy make the most of it? He's dealing with the one and only Sting. to my left. He weighed in this morning at 236 pounds and comes to us from Cameron, North Carolina. He is the number one contender for the TNA Heavyweight Championship of the World, the Charismatic Enigma, Chef Hardy. And now, ladies and gentlemen, standing in the corner to my right, he weighed in this morning at 258 pounds and comes to us from Venice Beach, California. He is the current reigning and defending TNA Heavyweight Champion of the World, the icon, Steve. Just as the new TNA World Heavyweight Champion soaks in the crowd reaction here at Victory Road, he's interrupted by the appearance, the arrival of Immortals Eric Bischoff. Slight change of plans here, ladies and gentlemen. Slight change in plans. See, we had a little situation on March 3rd where the network got involved in our business. And because 
Mr. Hardy was taken advantage of in such a blatant way. I want you to know that I'm going to be fair. Really, shake my hand. I want you to know I'm going to be fair. You don't want to have it your way. In order to make this a level playing field, here's what we're going to do. Had a chance to talk with Mr. Hogan. We decided to level the playing field. And since Mr. Hardy was unable to prepare for you on March 3rd, we got together with Mr. Hardy, let him know that we were going to change this match, add a little stipulation. We're going to make it a no disqualification match. Mr. Hardy's been able to prepare for. That's the way it is. Oh. Okay, then. There you have it. Wow. Just as Eric Bischoff, representing Immortal, tells Sting in the world that this is going to be no disqualification. <laughs> just, just, Sting, just, Sting takes care of the messenger, doesn't he? That's not just a messenger, Mike, but I get your point. I mean, Eric Bischoff, <laughs> one of the head honchos of Immortal, obviously. But yeah, I mean, Sting just a world champ saying, look, I'm the captain of this ship. No matter who's in charge, I'm the world champ. Uh, right now, Jeff Hardy. Well, you better not worry about throwing his t-shirt. You better worry about, about the world title at stake here. Now, hardly the time to play to the crowd. And Sting decides that he's had enough with whatever Jeff Hardy is trying to accomplish and gets right in his chest. What the hell is Jeff Hardy doing here? He's messing with the crowd at Victory Road, declines to throw the shirt, and now decides he better focus on the task at hand, and that's trying to win back the TNA World Heavyweight Championship, not just for himself, but also for Eric Bischoff, Hulk Hogan, and everyone aligned with Immortal. Yo, right now, oh, wow. right off the bat. Scorpion death trap. He's Don't play against him. Got him. Great. What a shot. The winner of the match. And still, TNA heavyweight champion of the world, the icon, Sting. Oh, my God. Wow. Shocker. Shocker. Holy smokes. That's a jaw dropper tonight at Victory Road. I, 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 I'm speechless. No one expected this. I mean, Jeff did. Uh, well, look, the pin of the, the replay last and longer in the match. I, I mean, listen, Jeff Hardy did. Uh, he did better when he didn't know who his opponent was going to be on March 3rd. Sting just shocked the world again. Ultra quick victory for the world champion. Sting is just, it's like he reinvented himself, Mike. It's like he reinvented himself. I agree. Ladies and gentlemen, at this I point, agree. let's go back. Let's revisit everything that has gone down tonight here at Victory Road.